Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate the square with wave. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, square, uh, squareup.com or log in to your existing account. As you can see, uh, there's a option in uh, your workspace in Square to integrate apps on your left sidebar. So when we uh, click on apps, there are already some recommended and I already integrated Zapier into Square. I'll explain later. Uh, Wave can't be integrated straight away through, uh, through Square. So we are going to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Uh, once you are here, this app works like integration as you can see even on this this little video so once we're here let's go to integrations click on integrations and move to the bottom left part and see all categories once we are here at a uh, search engine we want to start with square which is here and now we have to pick its counterpart which will be wave as you can see there are some integration uh, already pre-made it for us uh, by Automate called Popular Integration. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, start with a square. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, on the right side, you should go with wave, like this. The last thing you have to do, hit the Try it Now button, you'll get redirected and asked to log in to your automate.eo account and you are a few clicks away from completing this integration. As I said before, we can also use uh, zapier.com. So when we create account here, let's go to the top left corner and click on create zap. Once uh, you're here, you can name your zap like uh, square to wave if you want to get back to it. And now, uh, let's set up the trigger. It works basically, the principle is the same as it's at ultimate. So we want to write down square, uh, trigger event, let's go with the new transaction, continue. Now we have to log into the account like this, continue, and now set up a trigger, uh, like uh, the location of this, of the start of this integration is our workspace. So it's mstone in my case. Continue. And now we can test our trigger. Second action is all about wave. So we go for wave. Also, we have to pick an event. Continue. And last thing is we have to sign into wave. And that's about it. So if the new transaction appear in square, square, it will create product or service in wave. So it's pretty easy. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.